First of all, congratulations. Um, we're from Channel 13 News in Israel. Um, you spoke about Trump in your speech. How important was it for you to get the movie out there before the elections? How happy were you with the results? And did you know that here in Israel, we're about to, to vote again this month? You're voting again? Enough <laughs> already. Why, like Passover, why is uh, this election different to all others? Um, yeah, listen, <laughs> I made get... Borat because of the election. Sorry, uh, what was that? No, I said we were going to vote again and Netanyahu is still the prime minister. Yes, well, I made this movie because of Donald Trump, because I felt democracy was it really in danger. Um, I felt that the kind of underbelly that I'd exposed in Borat one of, you know, anti-Semitism and hatred and misogyny had become um, overt. Racists were out and proud. We had one who was the president and he was spreading these conspiracy theories and hate and lies. And it was really helped by social media as well. And I felt the only thing I could do was pull out the gray suit and do Borat again. Um, and so I had an incredible team of people. We felt we had to get it out before the election as, you know, me ringing the bell saying, this is the danger of reelecting him. And if he had won on November 3rd, I, and I hadn't made the movie, I would not have been able to live with myself. So I'm so happy it came out and people enjoyed it and people saw it and the vote came out as it did both tonight and on November the 3rd. Erin, and the next one is Erin Lim from E. Erin Lin from E. From where? Well, if Erin doesn't show up, then we go to the next one. Young Chavez from ABS CBN News. CBS? Which one? It's ABS CBN is from the Philippine channel, actually. Um, Sasha, what does winning tonight uh, mean to you, especially at a time like this? It's fantastic. I mean, it's wonderful recognition for me and particularly for our incredibly hardworking crew. These are people who really risked um, their personal safety. They risked the rest. There were times where I had to wear a bulletproof vest because there were really dangerous situations. And we were the first movie going out shooting during COVID, but we felt we had to make this movie because of the dangers of Trump and Trumpism and the upcoming election. And amazingly, we managed to pull it off. Even with coronavirus, we had, you know, inc incredible team, including an amazing actor, Maria Bakalova, who infiltrated Trump's inner circle, was brought into the White House while Trump was there, was with uh, Donald Trump's son, and obviously with his lawyer, in that now famous scene. So it's incredible. And yeah, I'm blown away. I'm, a, you know, I grew up in Northwest London. No one I knew was an actor. So to have, you know, a TV show in England was beyond my wildest dreams, let alone making a movie and getting awards for it. It's mind blowing, really. Okay. The next one is. Uh... Andrew Freund from Dish Nation. Um, hey, Sasha. Uh, hold on one second. <clears throat> uh, hey, Sasha. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. Um, I guess my first question for you is, is what did you make of tonight's virtual, weird, interesting Golden Globes A? And B, you thanked your bodyguard for helping you not get shot. So how close did you get to being shot? Um, well, I thought the virtual experience was, um, was different. 
but a lot more relaxing. You know, you don't have to see the red carpet, which I'm not sure many people really enjoy. Uh, and yeah, listen, we had a few dangerous situations. This was uh, probably the most dangerous project I've ever had to work on. But we felt that the risks were worth taking because I was just very worried about Trump and Trumpism and the election and that our democracy was at risk. And I was really scared and the whole crew were about the lies, hate and conspiracy theories that were being spread by the president and propagated on social media. So, you know, me and the whole crew took immense risks, you know, uh, but yes, there were situations that I would never want to go back <laughs> to do again, which is why the gray suit is locked up and not coming out again. Oh, the, the next one is Diana Cooper from US Weekly. Hi, Sasha. Um, so I saw obviously your wife was with you when you accepted the award. So what is it like having her be so supportive and be by your side? Um, and then my second question is just, have your kids watched any of your recent films and what are their thoughts on you as an actor? I couldn't understand the end of the question, sorry. Um, what are your kids' thoughts of you as an actor and have they seen any of your recent films? I still don't understand what, I heard actor in recent films. What was the line before that? Just if your kids have watched any of your recent films and what they think of you as an actor. Oh, I don't talk about my uh, family. So I, I want them to have privacy. But you are entitled to ask another question if you want. Okay. So. You want to ask another question? Just about Sorry, your wife. You want to warn everyone, no men. No mention of children. Thank you. What? No, just of your wife being by your side tonight. You know, how exciting is it for you to be ha be there with her and for her to be so supportive? Listen, it's impossible to make uh, a movie like this without having an incredibly supporting spouse. Um, you know, I went and made two movies in the last 12 months, Chicago 7 and Borat, the subsequent movie film. And these aren't normal shoot days. You're calling up sometimes at the end of the day and just saying, uh, I was lucky to make it out in one piece today. So you need a very, very understanding wife. And I'm very lucky to have Isla in that. Uh, 